we have a great card to start off the year. I want to talk about the main event in this video. Um, this is going to be a fight prediction between Sean Strickland and Nasruddin Imavov. Great fight. Kelvin Gaslam was supposed to be in this main event. Obviously, he got injured during training. Some like nasty injury happened to his face. Lost a bunch of teeth. I don't know what the hell happened. But either way, Kelvin Gaslam is out. Sean Strickland, who literally just fought, is stepping up on short notice after he went five hard rounds with Jared Cannonier in another main event, um, is now back and he wants to fight Narsadin Imavov, who's on the come up. Now, this is a very interesting fight because it's not going to be happening at middleweight. It's actually going to be at 205 pounds which does make a big difference. It makes a huge difference. And it can either benefit Strickland or it can hurt Strickland. As Imavov, it could only help him, essentially, right? Because he's fighting, I would say, in a more natural weight class for himself. I mean, he's he's 6'3", whereas Sean Strickland is 6'1". However, you know, Sean Strickland probably walks around somewhere around like 190 you know, 191 normally. He's probably making a very easy cut down to middleweight as it is. This fight, five rounds in the light heavyweight division, it will make a big difference when it comes to power for sure. And speed and quickness are gonna be a little bit different for both individuals as well. Um, Nazardin obviously, you know, used to fighting at middleweight, used to making that weight cut, this time he will not have to. So this definitely benefits him because he has the short notice replacement in his favor and he is fighting in a closer to his weight class uh, way. So that's definitely gonna help him. As for the fight itself, Sean Strickland actually has a reach advantage. And as you know, Sean Strickland throws a lot of straight shots right down the center channel. He's always attacking the center channel. That's one of the things I like about Sean Strickland. And in this fight, it's gonna be whoever takes that first back step because both of these guys really like to pressure. They really like to pressure. And I don't think this fight is gonna last very long. I, I honestly think this fight lasts maybe a round or two um, because both of these guys are gonna bang. Like they are gonna get in the pocket and they're just gonna throw heavy shots and eventually one of them is going to go down. And I don't think that it is going to be Imavov. I think Sean Strickland is going to get hit in this fight. Again, I don't like the whole short notice replacement for Sean Strickland after going five rounds with Jared Cannonier, where he did get hit in that fight as well. And you don't know how much, you know, that that's going to affect coming into this fight. There are some things that Sean Strickland does that I'm able to see him frustrating Imavov early and if he can do this enough, um, this can help Sean Strickland in his favor. On top of that, if Sean Strickland does not have to cut and if he's gaining weight in this fight, he may have some power to knock Imavov out. That's very possible. He can probably carry some more power into those shots. So that's also a very interesting aspect. But in terms of who has the better skill, who is more well-versed for right now, who is you know, going to come with a more complete game plan, I would say Imavov. Imavov has the grappling advantage, in my opinion, even though Strickland is a decent grappler uh, when it comes to it, even though he doesn't use it. Uh, Imavov, I, I feel like, will have the advantage in the clinch. I feel like he'll have the advantage on the ground. On the feet, I can see Sean Strickland having better moments. I don't think that Imavov's game plan is going to be taking Sean Strickland down. I think if he starts losing on the feet early, he's going to have to implement that. But I think Imavov really wants to go out there and prove something on the feet. I just have that feeling something tells me that Imavov wants to go out there and he wants to uh, trade shots and really show his striking off in this fight. So in my opinion, I believe this fight does not go past three rounds. And I'm going to go ahead and pick Narsardin Imavov to win this fight. I think he has all the advantages. As long as he stays smart on his feet and he does not get chaotic, stays poised, and he's able to take advantage of openings and just listen to his corner, I think he will win this fight in the second or third round by like a submission or some sort of uh, 
some sort of like ground and pound finish. That's what I can see happening. So my pick is Nasserdini Mavov. Let me know who you guys have down in the comments below. Um, also, if you guys are new to the channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I upload every week on combat sports, current events, and news commentary. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.